Hi guys, I'm Kat. I'm a brand and graphic designer and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use mock-ups to bring your designs to life. I've been using mock-ups for client and personal projects for years now and I genuinely think that they are just game changers. They completely elevate your designs to the next level. They allow your clients to kind of visualize your designs on packaging or merch and they're just really fun to play with overall. I'm gonna be using Photoshop to do this and we're gonna be playing around with existing files out there. Now you can use Photoshop to even make your own super customized mock-ups, but today we'll just kind of start with the basics and we'll play around with existing PSD files out there. I'm gonna show you how I made this. This is a set of cans that I made for fun. I wanted to make one for each of my friends and overall it was just a really good time so let's get into it so i get my mock-ups from a lot of places graphic pair i have a premium subscription there i paid 89 dollars for a lifetime subscription and i think that was really worth it because it's like they're literally uploading new resources and assets and you just pay the one-time fee i feel like it's a pretty reasonable price for the amount of resources that you're constantly getting they offer even more than that. They offer like fonts and templates too, I think. So yeah, but if you're looking for free resources, I love Unblast. Um, I also love Anthony Boyd mockups. I've been using his stuff for years now. But yeah, in our case, like look, he has, he has tons of great mockups, super cool. In my instance, I kind of already know what I'm searching for. It's the set of soda cans. Here they are, they have popped up, and I'm just gonna download this. So it's gonna download a zip file, and then you are going to open up mockup.psd. I already have it opened up, so here we go. It's gonna take you to this. You see five cans, um, and over here on the layers panel, you're gonna see cans, this group here, and you can edit these, can one, two, three, four, five. You can even change the metal color. You can customize like the highlights and the reflection, the shadow, you can change the intensity of the shadow, and then you can change the background color. So lots of customizable things here. That's kind of why I really love working with those like pre-existing mock-up files, especially if you're a beginner designer, because it's just super easy to navigate everything and you can kind of just change things without doing anything too complicated. It's really nicely organized. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it. So what I like to do first thing right off the bat, let's go into can number one. And I double clicked in and now it takes us to this file right here. And this is basically the canvas that you're gonna be working on. This is where you're gonna put your designs. What I like to do is I like to go to image, canvas size, and then this will pop up and this tells me exactly what I need to know. So it's 966 pixels by 1545 pixels. Press OK. Now you can work directly in this file. You can work directly in Photoshop. And honestly, that's like the, probably the easier way to do it. But I am an Illustrator girly. I pretty much design everything in Illustrator just because I'm super comfortable in that program. And then I'll export it as a PNG and bring it back into Photoshop. So that's just that extra step that I take that you don't have to, especially if you prefer Photoshop. So it's telling me right now in pixels, but if you ever need to for any reason, you can change it and see, oh, it says actually 3.22 inches by 5.15 inches. Okay, good to know, especially if you're working maybe within print. So I will be making this artboard. Let's make sure it is 3.22 inches by 5.15 inches. Okay, there we go. This is our beautiful artboard. You can name your artboards. Yeah, cool. And then we're just gonna go in. So I've made this design before, obviously, but I will just quickly do it again. Don't do that. This is the same canvas size as our mock-up. So here I am. I want it to be like a blue color. And again, you can do this in Photoshop. You can do everything in Photoshop, but that's not my style, so. Yeah, and then I'm gonna move him here. This is friend number one. The Sinjin, so I'll bring him in right here. Um, and then in lieu of like the flavor descriptions, I tried to describe them instead. I thought it was a pretty cute idea. That's kind of how the can is gonna look. Um, if you were to do this in Photoshop, it'd be really easy because then you can kind of just like 
bring in individual elements and move them around and it's super easy. But I'm just gonna literally copy and paste them into Photoshop. One reason I liked to do this design in Illustrator is because once I kind of understood, oh, I liked this layout, I wanted to make sure that all of the other designs had that exact same layout. I wanted everything to be aligned, I wanted all the names to be aligned, I wanted all the photos to be the same scale. So what I actually originally did was I kind of perfected one and I was like, okay, this is a good scale, this is a good size. And then I pretty much replicated every single artboard in Illustrator just to make sure the placements were correct. And then I exported all of these out, file export as, and yeah, I like to export these out as PNGs because they're crisp that way. And yeah, I don't actually know why it's in CMYK because it's completely digital. It does not have to be in CMYK. Like they could be a lot more vivid actually. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. So here you have the original design of the mock-up. What I do is I just press this plus button, start a new layer or like hide this or delete it altogether because we don't really need it. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start bringing everything in basically. Here we go, we're bringing him in pressing save and then it updates it in real time in this other file separately so they're linked files basically can 2 we're bringing them in can 2 putting this right here pressing save and you can see it's coming to life slowly but surely this is can 3 there we go i always love doing this it's so exciting because you can really see it come to life. All right, last one. And here is the finished thing. Super fast. I always love changing up the colors of the background as well. So I had this one kind of pre-saved, so I'm just gonna use that one, but you can mix it up. Um, darker colors I would be a little bit wary of when considering the shadows and the highlights of the mock-up because it could look a little bit unnatural like this. So in this instance, I just stuck to a lighter color palette because it worked with the cans and it worked with the background, but you can play around with the shadow a lot. You can manipulate it by double clicking into it, kind of changing how harsh you want the shadow to be. Same with the highlights. Let me see. Reflection. Um, yeah, you can kind of see on the edges, the highlights. So I just kind of left them exactly as they were because I really liked it. But yeah, that is your finished thing. I have used mock-ups in so many things. I did Brandtober, which is my own take on Inktober where I designed a brand every day for 30 days in the month of October. I just love them. I love them so much and they're so fun. So yeah, all right. That's how I use mock-ups. I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on something else. Subscribe for more. <laughs>